Hi guys, this is Annie from We Love Miniatures. Today I am going to show you how to make miniature lavender. This is what you will need to make the flowers. You will need a very thin wire. And you will need some modeling sand. You can use ordinary sand also. You will need a glue that dries up clear. Then you will need some acrylic paint. I use a mix of these two for the stems and for the foliage. And then I use this violet grey and blue grey for the flower. You will also need a paintbrush and something to cut your wire. These are some lavenders that I have done previously. I will show you first how to make the stems. You take your wire. I use, this is just a painted metal wire. You don't need to use paper covered wire for this. And then I am going to mix a green gray shade for painting both the stems and the foliage for the flower. To get the right color you could google lavender and see if you can get a picture of the green color to compare with. And then I just paint the wire. And leave it to dry for 10-15 minutes. While you are doing this, you might as well make a lot. So you have for several pots of lavender. My painted wire has dried. And now I am going to cut it into pieces of 3-4 centimeters. Then you take a bit of glue and your stem. Then you just dip three, four millimeters of your stem into the glue and then into the sand and use your fingers to shape your flower. You want it to be slim. I use a sponge to place it in while drying. And you repeat this process with all of your stems and leave them to dry. You are going to let them dry for 20 to 30 minutes. You want the glue to be completely dry before you start painting. Okay, this is what you will need for the rest of the lavender plant. Leucopodium, which is a preserved moss. I think it has been colored with something very green. I don't think it's a natural color. Um, but we are going to paint it with the green paint that we made before for the stems. You will also need something to look like soil. You can use coffee grounds or sand or if you have an artificial soil. And you take your paint from before 
which you used for the stems and you don't apply too much paint you don't want any lumps of paint sticking to your lycopodium so you just apply a little bit of paint on both sides of the lycopodium then we are going to paint our flowers which have dried completely I use these two colors mixed I like to use two colors because it brings more depth to your flower instead of only using one color these two are uh, blue blue gray and violet gray and I use the blue as a base and just put a tiny bit of paint on your paintbrush you might want to dilute with a bit of water it makes it easier to apply the paint but you are going to be sure that your glue has dried completely otherwise your sand will fall off Then I am going to use the purple paint I have diluted with a tiny bit of water and then I just dab the purple onto the blue you don't want it to cover the blue base totally Then all of our flowers are done and we are very soon ready to pot the lavenders. You take your painted leucopodium from before and you just make it into small pieces from one to one and a half centimeter. I then take my flower pot, which I have shown how to do in a previous video. I fill it with some miniature gravel and top with a great amount of glue. And I just turn it around into my soil. And I am ready for planting. Time to arrange the flower. I just start with the foliage and then I finish with the flowers.
when I do my flowers I always use an uneven number of flowers and try to place them kind of randomly. As a finishing touch, I will show you how you can make a butterfly lavender. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye and see you soon.